Prime Minister Narendra Modi stated that India will extend an additional 100 million dollar line of credit to the Maldives following bilateral talks between PM Modi and President of Maldives. India and Maldives signed six pacts to facilitate cooperation in capacity building, cyber security, housing, disaster management and infrastructure. A Nigerian man admitted to Delhi's hospital tested positive for monkeypox. The Union Health Ministry said the patient does not have any foreign travel history. This is the third monkeypox case. India's tally has now reached eight. The Supreme Court saw the centre's response on a clutch of petitions challenging the ordinances brought by the government to extend the tenure of the heads of the Enforcement Directorate and the Central Bureau of Investigation up to five years. U.S. House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi was expected to arrive in Taipei later on Tuesday. People briefed on the matter set as several Chinese warplanes flew close to the median line dividing the Taiwan Strait. In its first statement on the killing of Al-Qaeda chief Ayman al-Zawari in a U.S. drone strike in Kabul, Afghanistan, the Asian country's ruling Taliban regime described the development as a clear violation of the Doha Agreement between the group and the United States of America. U.S. President Joe Biden said he is ready to pursue a new nuclear arms deal with Russia and called on Moscow to act in good faith as his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin said there could be no winners in any nuclear war. Actor Katrina Kaif has in a new post hinted about featuring in an upcoming episode of filmmaker Karan Johar's chat show Coffee with Karan 7. Katrina posted a series of pictures from her recent photo shoot. The Indian contingent at the Commonwealth Games 2022 scripted history on day 5th of Commonwealth Games 2022 as they won the country's first ever gold in Lawn Bowls Women's 4.